Hey Jamlin developers, this is Jamlin Kaiso 37 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating image zoom. When we pinch in, then it should zoom in. As well as when we pinch out, then it should zoom out. So, in order to create such type of project, we'll first of all go to File, New, and then Project. Then we are going to write code for cross platform as I'll select cross platform and then click on OK. After that, you should select a shared as well as a portable project what project will work out and in this project we'll be basically talking about root project rather than project that are targeting both android and ios and then i'll minimize them now let us go to our app.cs it might be your app.jaml.cs inside that here main page is a placeholder which contains the page to be loaded here we are loading home page as our start page when our application gets started now let us go to our homepage.jaml. It has two parts, they are jaml as well as .cs part. In previous session, we have already discussed about content page and what's their use. So in order to save my time, I'll drag and drop my source code over here. So that I'll try to explain it. Here image is my content that will be placed inside my content page. Here the class can be wrapped around a user interface element so that the pin gesture will zoom the wrapped user interface element. I'll zoom a little bit so that we can see it. Here image source is equals to free.jpg. I'll be placing that image inside my resources folder of both Android and iOS project. The main overview is to make a user interface element zoomable with the pin gesture. So in order to create a pin gesture recognizer instance, handle the pins update event and add the gesture recognizer to the gesture recognizer collection on the user interface element. Now let us create a new folder as extension as I've already created it and inside it let us create a new class then click on visual c sharp and then class give a name as double extension and click on add as I have already added it here I'll be creating some extensions let us drag and drop out code I'll give that code in the description below this class will be handled inside my pinch to zoom container where we are returning our math value. Now let us create our container that is our pinch to zoom container as I have already created it. Now let us go inside it. In order to create a pinch to zoom container, handle the pin gesture to perform a zoom operation requires some math to transform the user interface. This section contains a generalized helper class to perform the math which can be used to interactivity zoom any user interface element. This is my following set of course. The code for our on pins update event handler is then added to the code behind file. What happens when our pins gets updated? That means it stores the current state factor applied to the wrapped user interface element. Here 0 represents the components for the center point of the translate transform. Then when our image element receives a pin gesture, the displayed image will be zoomed in or out. The zoom is performed by the pinch zoom container on pinch update method. At first, the scale origin is in relative coordinate to the wrapped user interface element. So get the x pixel coordinates as well as we can get the y pixel coordinates. And then we should calculate the transform element pixel coordinates and then apply translation between on the change in origin and apply the scale factor as content dot scale is equals to current scale. After that we can store the translation deltas of the wrapped user interface element as x offset is equals to content dot translation x and y offset is equals to content dot translation y. That's now let us compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not. Our project is in build mode, build is getting started, it's being ready. Let's see. Okay, we got our image. Let us zoom in. So let's zoom out. That's all. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Keep in touch for next tutorials.